Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Practical Organic Living. In today's episode, we're gonna harvest some Japanese cucumbers. So it's July and the heat is on. And when the summer is really hot, what more refreshing is it than to eat some cool cucumber salad to help you cool off from the heat. We started our cucumbers from seed indoors in April, up potted and then transplanted our cucumber plants outdoors in May. Cucumbers don't usually take off in a mild Mediterranean climate until June, but as you can see, they've exploded in growth in June. We don't usually start harvesting cucumbers until July, but once we do, then we expect to harvest a couple of cucumbers a day. So we have to think of creative ways to eat them during harvest season. And now we're gonna harvest some cucumbers, but I'm gonna give you some tips and trips along the way as we harvest our Japanese cucumbers, so come on in. And now we're gonna harvest a couple of cucumbers. And let me show you the size you wanna harvest them at. So here's a good example of a cucumber right here. And this is a good size cucumber to harvest because it's not too long, not too small, and not too fat. And Japanese cucumbers are usually thin, and you want to harvest it young because that's when they're the crunchiest, most tender, and the sweetest. So to harvest, you could use scissors and cut these off, or what I do, I just twist it because these come off pretty easily. So here's another good size cucumber. So again, I'm just gonna twist, harvest like that. And there's two more here on the same plant, so I'm gonna just go here, twist. Here's another one that's a good size. So we harvested a half a dozen cucumbers. We harvested six cucumbers. And now Sally's gonna show you how to prepare a cool, refreshing summer salad. So here are some of the cucumbers that we just harvested. And we are going to make a cucumber wakame salad. And this is something we love to enjoy, especially in the heat wave. So first we wanna pickle the cucumbers with some salt. And to do that, let me cut up the ends of the cucumbers. And then next, I'm going to smash the cucumbers with the side of the knife. What this will do is that it will kind of break down the cucumber and make it easier for the flavors to infuse into the cucumbers. So you don't need to wait for a long time to enjoy these cucumbers. So then just cut the cucumbers into bite-sized pieces and then just put it into a clean bowl because we're going to add some salt later to get some of the water out. So I finished cutting the cucumbers and now we're gonna salt this. Mix this well. So this step is to help draw out the moisture in the cucumber. So you, later on, you'll see some water on the bottom of the bowl, which will pour out. So now let's just let it rest for 10, 15 minutes to help get the water content out of the cucumbers. And then next, we are going to prepare the wakame. So this is basically like a dried seaweed. You'll see I just put in like a handful into the bowl, but it's gonna actually expand later on, so we don't really need a lot. Okay, we'll just let it hydrate. Once the cucumbers are ready, the seaweeds are also ready to go. So that's it. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes and I'm going to pour out the water from the cucumbers. And then here's the hydrated seaweed. As you can see, now we have like a half bowl of hydrated seaweed. So I'm just put it on top of the cucumbers and then we can add the different dressing on top. So here is some rice vinegar and here's some Japanese ponzu sauce, soy sauce, and then some sugar. And then I'm gonna drizzle on top some sesame oil. And then finally I'm gonna add some sesame seeds. And then we just stir this, mix and mix it well. And then we want to let these marinate at least four or five hours, preferably overnight, to make sure all the different flavors infuse into the cucumbers. So I usually like to pour this into a glass container and let it marinate in the fridge. So this is our episode on harvesting cucumbers and making a simple cucumber salad. Uh, we hope you enjoy this episode. And as you can see, these cucumber plants are just so productive. And if you have any suggestions on how you like to prepare cucumbers, please leave comments below and let us know. We'd like to try your recipe as well. Thanks everyone for watching and we will see you on our next episode, which we will show you our tomato harvest and do a tomato tasting. We'll see you next time. Bye.